So the boys are just looking out the window and they think they see a bobcat on a tree. What is that noise? Stop making that noise. Hey, I missed you. She's walking so much in just the little time I've been gone. Good morning. I don't feel good this morning. I have a headache. Oh, I think I'm just tired. I, I helped mom since she has a headache. I made her bed. That was so sweet of you. Today's a great day because Jeremy's gonna come home. So I'm a big fan of hot, yummy breakfasts. So we're making French toast this morning. Poll question. Do you like to have a hot breakfast or just like a quick and easy cold cereal breakfast? Let us know up here. French toast. All right, Lise, what's your favorite breakfast food? Um, breakfast cake. My favorite is French toast. You like that one the best? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you? What's your favorite breakfast? French toast. So I came to breakfast this morning, got some French pancakes, and uh, getting ready for my last day here in San Diego. So I'm actually here at the Children's Museum in San Diego, walking by it. This is where the kids were painting and making Play-Doh. Seeing all these places brings back such good memories from our trip in San Diego. The boys are just looking out the window and they think they see a bobcat on a tree. We don't know yet if it's our neighbor's cat or a bobcat. Or it's, it's huge. Thing. It's yeah. huge. Probably a wild cat, but it could be like a lynx, a bobcat or something. What if it's a bobcat? So there's the cat they're talking about. Guys, I think it might just be a neighbor's cat. Well, well then it has to be huge. It is a pretty big cat. Janae, do you see any animals out there? So now that you can see it up closer, what do you think? It's bigger, so I bet it's not a neighbor's cat. I bet it's probably just like a wild cat. Do you think it's a bobcat? Actually not, because bobcats are more dark, okay. in my opinion. But it could be. What do you think it is? Do you see it out there? I think it's um, really big because it might be wanting us and it might be excited. Yeah. So, where's Daddy been? At San Diego. Yeah? I miss him. What do you think he's doing in San Diego? Um, going to places to eat with, yeah. his, with friends. So we are at the restaurant. I'm here with Dan from what's inside. How's it going, guys? And we're at the restaurant where Tom Cruise sang at the piano in Top Gun. Just kind of a Ooh, side bonus cool. of being here. Have you guys seen Top Gun? A lot of our audience probably is too young to ever have seen Top Gun. Here we go. Poll so question I'm... for the day. <laughs> have you seen Top Gun? Let us know in the poll. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. We finished the puzzle. I loved doing this one. It was really fun. But there's that one bad thing. Yeah. We lost a piece. We lost one piece. So the very first day when we were sorting the pieces from like edges and middles, Laura helped us. And I have a sneaky suspicion. Do you know where the puzzle piece is? Oh. This was such a fun puzzle because there were so many different patterns. So it was a lot of pieces, but it wasn't super hard. I think my, my last piece was that one. It's a good one. Feels so good to put in the last piece. I put piece. in a few of these pieces. Yeah, you did. So this is our next puzzle Elise and I are gonna do. She's kind of my puzzle buddy. Are you our puzzle buddy too? Uh-huh. Well, I think the sand could be really challenging. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Cause it's the exact same. Yeah. What are you two working on? Just the tree You're sanding these branches? Yeah, to make wood. Since we don't really have any like long pieces of wood, so we decided to do this. You're working hard. So see how it made I made the top a little flat? Yeah. And then see how I made the sides flat? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of work. So it's that's why tree houses take a lot of work if you want to make it from scratch. <laughs> 
So the reason I come to these conferences on social media is that this space is so new. It's like the Wild West. And to be able to get together with people who have experience and are learning things, like I just love learning all the time. It makes a business with what we're doing on YouTube and with the law practice. And the relationships that I build are probably the most important thing. So I feel like Janae has transitioned from a baby to a toddler in the few days that Jeremy's been gone. When he left, she was crawling more than she's walking. And now she's walking more than she's crawling. She also just committed her first act of mischief. Jeff, check this out. She grabbed a pencil, climbed up on the fireplace ledge, and colored. I looked over there, and she was so proud of herself. She was like grinning, like, check me out, I'm such a big girl, and I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm tired already thinking about everything that she's gonna get into this year. Yes, you colored right there. Should we clean it up? Should we get a rag and clean it up? Uh-oh, we're pooping, we're busy. Oh, do you see shoes? Oh, she saw a shoe. She's coming for it. Oh, there's the jackpot of shoes. It's the shoe bin. I had a great time at the conference. It was fun to get to speak and to share some of the experiences we've had. I'm excited to get home and see the kids and Kendra. So to be honest, today has been quite a rough day. And the problem today has been me. I'm struggling with a lot of anxiety and a grumpiness. And I'm just like easily irritable. Like I feel like all of my senses are heightened. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, what is that noise? Stop making that noise, kids. I'm feeling really grateful that Jeremy is coming home tonight. He's actually been gone for a couple days. I didn't film all the days when he was gone. We, we just miss him, so we're really excited. He's getting home like in the middle of the night tonight and tomorrow morning it'll be so nice to have him here with us. Are you guys staring at each other? You're doing awesome. <laughs> On days like today, I am so grateful for the pretty weather because when the kids can get outside and I can feel the sunshine, it feels like everything's just that much better. Hi, Nene. So Isaac just ran inside and was like, Mom, I just invented a new sport. And I'm like, oh, what sport? He said, swing dancing. And I'm like, that's actually a thing. Like, I've actually swing danced. And he's like, really? And I said, yeah, like you have a partner and you're dancing. And he's like, no, Mom, like dancing on a swing. So I'm gonna come see what they have created as swing dancing. A synchronized swing dancing routine? <laughs> Whoa, that's complex. Yes, I did it. Whoa. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I think you gotta go all the way from one side to the other side, Lisey. Let's see your best cartwheel. Laura, stand to the side. Good job. Did you just say good job? So I'm ordering pizza for dinner tonight, and I just pulled up one on the screen, and what did you think it had inside of it? Worm! Do you really think that I would order a worm pizza? Yeah. No, I would not. So I had, it really a, was I had a pizza up on the screen that had peppers on it. And apparently she thought in the picture it looked like worms. <gasps> Lydia, are you painting her fingernails? <laughs> Well, the kids are having fun with their friends. They're exploring in the woods. They're playing sports. They're doing all kinds of silly stuff. And Janae just wants to get down and do it all with them. Yeah. You singing? I'm dancing. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Those are quite the moves. Whoa, watch out for the microphone. Every station we sound in 
our nation. So this is the pizza that Laura was talking about. These red peppers are the worms. Well, we finished off the night with pizza and a movie. The kids are all in their pajamas and just relaxing and it feels so good. I'm so tired, and I'm I'm happy to be home as well. I really miss the family. He's losing his mind a little bit. Let's go to bed. Good night. Jay has out. I'm so excited. Happy birthday! What you doing? Sandy. Janae is running.